Hi, I'm Carol Ventura. And if you like to tapestry crochet like I do with a very tight stitch, then you're going to really enjoy what I'm going to show you. Um, you know, crocheting with a hook with a handle is so much better than crocheting with a naked hook. It's much easier to grab. Uh, it's, it's much better on your uh, wrist. And today I'm going to show you how to make one of these handles. In fact, we'll make a bunch of them. Polymer clay comes in many different sizes and colors. Um, a package this size will make uh, three handles. Uh, these handles over here I made from a package of blue and uh, red. They can be any shape or size. In fact, uh, this handle I made to uh, match my hand. I just gripped it while I was working on it. You can buy uh, polymer clay at any craft store. It's uh, fairly soft to work. Uh, today I'm going to be using uh, copper color and white. Uh, you just uh, take a little bit off and smush it uh, with your uh, fingers. I think I'll take a little bit more. There's, there are a number of different ways of working the clay. I'm just going to do a, a quick way today but you can um, make a, a single colored handle or a multicolored handle. Um, you have to work it a little bit with your hands to get it nice and soft. And then you can uh, roll it into a hot dog shape um, about like that. Um, you might want to uh, twist it to give it a little bit of interest. You can even uh, roll it to texturize it in something like this uh, lace or, or not. If you don't like that, just twist it again. Keep rolling it with your hand. And, okay, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, when I was younger, I didn't really think about uh, crochet handles, but as I get older and as I'm crocheting uh, more tightly, um, I'm trying to think of ways to uh, make it easier. Okay, so that looks uh, pretty good. I'm just going to, let's see, this is a size zero. Um, I'm just going to stick it down into my hot dog shaped piece and squeeze it around uh, the hook. Roll it a little bit more. Okay, now a very important thing is to squeeze it onto the hook, but since you cover over uh, the actual size, if you remember this was a size zero, I made a little tool, just a straight pin in a cork, and I'm, I'm going to push it in uh, the very end uh, to form a zero, since this is size zero, and that's just so that I'll know what size it is. Okay, and there you have the very uh, first handle. I'm going to fill up my tray here. Uh, let's see, let's try another one. Yes, you, um, you bake these at 230 degrees for about a half hour, and they will uh, become nice and hard in the uh, oven. You can use a regular oven. You can use this uh, toaster oven. This would be a great project to do with uh, your friends. You could have a, a hook party. Um, also, it would be a wonderful workshop. I think kids would enjoy this. Um, it is a lot of fun, and there are many ways to work it. Let's see. This time I might put some uh, a little dot right in the end. You could, again, get very fancy. Uh, use more colors. If I were going to do this with a group of people, I would probably buy about maybe 10 different colors, put them out all on the table, and let everyone have a go at it. So as you can see, just um, smooshing and rolling in your hand. Oh, let's see what size is this one, size C. Again, stick it down the middle. There we go. Now, of course, you can make larger handles, smaller handles, personalized handles. You can impress a message into it. Um, you could spend hours doing a mosaic or inlay. Okay, so 
So that looks pretty good. Sometimes I also compare it with another hook to see how far down I have the hook. So actually, this looks pretty good. And let's see. I put the size again in the bottom. I'm pressing it here so that I know. And now I'm ready for uh, the next one. Now some people say that they have trouble crocheting because of the uh, stress. Um, now for tapestry crochet, if you do a, a tight stitch, of course this handle uh, will really help. But even with a loose stitch, if you have uh, problems, tendencies of getting carpal tunnel, you can make a, a really large handle like the one that I'm doing. And there we go. Okay, now this is a really large one. You can get even larger, of course. Let's see which hand, which hook should we use. How about, let's see, size zero again. Again, it's important to remember what size you're putting in here. And you do have to squeeze it tightly against the hook so that it really stays in there. Okay. Again, let me put the size here. Okay, now that's a, a nice large one. And let's see, I'll make an even larger one here. Again, the clay needs to be uh, worked between your hands. Just move it around to make it pliable. And okay. Okay. Again, you could make just one color, lots of colors. It's all up to you. All right, and this is another hmm, size zero. Okay. Okay. Again, I'm going very quickly. I'm going to make one of these to match my hand. Okay, if you do that, you have to look at the direction of the hook because you, you work it with the hook toward you. Once you have it the way you want it, just squeeze it with your hand like this. And it looks very strange, but that's going to bake up very nicely. So then you just um, set this for uh, 30 minutes. Uh, put it in your toaster oven at 220 degrees, and that's it. Well, thanks a lot.